Hey guys, it's Tiffany. I am revisiting a look that I did a while back. I had to take down the video because of the music that was in it. Um, YouTube kind of flagged it, I guess, because it was like copyrighted or something. And um, the person that owned the video copyright or the music copyright or whatever um, said that they would allow me to keep it up if they advertised on my video or something. And um, some people could not see that video, I guess, because of that. Um, like in other countries, I know that only the United States could see that video. So I got a lot of messages regarding that. And it was a really fun look, and I really, really liked it. And I kind of wanted to revisit it and do it again. You may be asking me, why in the world would you do a look from the Manish Aurora palette? Because that thing is long gone. Like, you pretty much can't get your hands on them anymore. And it was pretty limited, so a lot of people, um, I know, weren't able to get it. But that is okay. The really, you know, the biggest thing about it is the packaging. It's very cute. But other than that, all of the colors, pretty much, that I used for this look, you can go to MAC right now and get. Um, they're, they're really, or there's only two limited edition colors in here. Um, the pink and the yellow. And I didn't even use the pink at all. And the yellow I just used a little bit of, and um, basically any shimmery yellow would work that you have. If you have chrome yellow, you could use that. That's part of the permanent line. So pretty much, you know, just use something different for that yellow. Um, there's also a bright, bright Sunshine, which I believe is a pro color. But, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to tell you about these eyeshadows and... Um, the ones that I'm going to be using and let you know that all of these are available as a part of the permanent permanent line. Alright, so the first one is Nylon. Um, that's always available at any counter. That's the one at the bottom. Then there is Bitter, which is this pretty green. Again, always available. Um, Electric Eel, this really gorgeous bright blue. Again, part of the permanent collection, always available. And Deep Truth, yeah, which is a really gorgeous dark blue. Again, part of the permanent collection. This pink was a re-promoted color from Barbie Loves Mac. So if you have that, I mean, you could use that. But I don't use that for this look, so you don't even need it. But, um, you know, that way, those of you that missed out won't get discouraged. And you can, you know, definitely do the same exact look with the same exact colors. You do not have to have that special, fancy little palette to do it. Um, I'm also obviously wearing some mega false lashes. I usually never really wear false lashes, so this was kind of fun. And I really wanted to do this video again anyways, because I was wanting to do this look again. So, um, these are MAC number two lashes. So, if you want to see how to do it, keep watching, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so first I'm taking my paint pot and green stroke, and my 217 brush. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lid. It's going to be pretty similar to the colors that we're using. If you don't have a base that's this color, um, you know, just try to find something similar. Or you could even just use a base like Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm just using this because it's going to bring out the colors a little more. It's the Sonia Kashuk Large Flat Shader Brush, and I'm going to take Nylon. And I'm going to put that right on that inner corner. Just kind of sweep it up toward the brow. You want to apply the color like in um, padding motions. That way it will really um, show up. I'm going to go ahead and do my brow highlight. I'm just going to take a little bit of Mylar. I don't want to do anything really shimmery on the brow. Um, and just dab it on there. This is a 227 matte brush. Next, I'm going to take that same Sonia Kashuk brush and Bitter, which is the green shade in the palette. And I'm just going to kind of pat it right where I ended that color. Alright, now I'm going to take a smaller brush, but it's still a flat brush. It's the 239. And I'm going to dip it into Electric Eel, which is that really bright blue. And I'm going to apply this to the outer 
um, corner of my eye, or like the outer half, whatever isn't um, covered yet. So I'm kind of taking where that green began and um, just patting all the way out. And then when you get to the crease, kind of take it in sideways. And then to blend that area where the two colors meet, all you've really got to do is just pat it. And the colors are so similar that they should blend right together. Alright, while you have that color on that brush, take the tip of the brush into that same electric eel color and just trace it right underneath your lower lash line, about halfway in. Okay, now I'm going to take that same brush, I'm going to flip it over and dip it into Deep Truth, which is the darkest blue. And I'm just going to dab that in the outer corner. Um, what I like to do is just take the tip of the brush, follow the, co the color along the lash line, about the outer third of the lash line. And then kind of take that color up into a little wedge shape until you reach the crease. And then when you get to the crease, you can kind of work the color into the crease about a third of the way in as well. And that kind of makes an outer V shape. Um, you can take a 217 brush, get it into that same color. Just with the tip, you can kind of swirl it in that area. Um, and that kind of intensifies the crease a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This is a 224. And I'm just going to go around the outer edge of color. Then I'm going to dip it into the bitter, which is that green color. Just lightly go over where that blue meets the brow bone. And that's just going to help it blend even um, more. Alright, now you totally don't have to do this, but I'm going to take this yellow color. This is that color that I said was... Um, you know, harder to find. Um, but just any yellow will work. If you have the Coastal Sense palette, um, a bright yellow in either palette would work. You don't even have to do this step. I mean, you can totally skip it. I mean, you could see the difference before I've started applying this yellow, and it's there's really not much of a difference. Um, but Bright Sunshine by MAC is pretty close as well. Um, then I'm going to just run this right along the lower lash line and also take some of that nylon that I used first and just kind of run it right over so that it doesn't look too yellow. Alright, so for the eyeshadow, that's all there is to it. Um, since we're going to be applying some false lashes, I'm going to use some black eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Liner Intense uh, Carbon Black. And I'm just going to quickly line my eyes with this. If you're unsure about applying false lashes, you can check out my false lash video and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, so for the lashes, I applied the MAC number no. 2 lash. Um, if you guys have any questions about false lashes, check out my um, all about false lashes video. I show you step by step exactly how to apply them, little tips and tricks and stuff like that. Um, so that's it. For my cheeks, I applied some of the double blush that was from this collection as well. However, this is a permanent blush in the Pro line. So it looks really scary, I know, but um, it can be very pretty. And I really like having it because it works for a, such a wide variety of skin tones, um, even mine, and I'm really pale. Um, it's all about how you apply it. You just have to kind of use a light hand. And for my lips, I am wearing the Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I hope it was helpful for those of you who couldn't get your hands on those palettes and um, were wanting to do something similar. Again, sorry that I had to take down the other video, but you know. Um, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.